So up until now, we've talked about classification for binary class problems. Is something spam or not spam? Is the puppy cute or not cute? And logistic regression with a, a classification threshold is very well suited to these sorts of binary class classification problems. But in the real world, we're often not choosing just between two classes. Sometimes we need to pick a label out of one of a range of, of classes. For example, is the object animal, vegetable, mineral, or man-made object? Is the color red, orange, green, blue, indigo, or violet? Do we have a picture of an apple, a car, a banana, a dog, blah, blah, blah? There's lots of areas where being able to do good multi-class classification is a useful thing. Now, interestingly enough, we can build off of some of the technology that we already have with binary class classification. One classic way of doing this is through the one versus all multi-class classification. So essentially what we do is we have one logistic regression output node in our model for every possible class. So one node might identify, is this an apple? Yes, no. Another might say, is this a picture of a bear? Yes, no. A third might say, is this candy? Yes or no. And we have one output node for every possible class that we're looking at. We can do this in a deep network by having different output nodes at the um, outset of the model and share the internal representation through the rest of the model. So these can be trained reasonably efficiently together. In some problems, we know that an example will ex belong to only one class at a time. For example, a given fruit is either a banana or a pear or an apple. In this case, we'd like the sum of the probabilities of all of our little output nodes to sum to exactly one. And this can be achieved by uh, using something called softmax. Softmax is essentially a generalization of the same uh, logistic regression that we used, but generalized to more than one class. When we have a single label multi-class classification problem, we use softmax. Um, this is, encodes some helpful structure to the problem and allows us to, to use those outputs as well-calibrated probabilities. In other cases, we might have a multi-label classification problem. For example, an image might contain um, both an apple and a banana in it, or might contain three different dogs or a dog and a person. And we'd want to be able to identify all of those different labels in the same example. And in, the in that case, we do need to use a one versus all classification strategy where each output is computed independently and the outputs do not all necessarily sum to one. When we're training a multi-class classification, we've got a couple of options here. We can use full softmax, just straight out of the box, and this is relatively expensive to train. Um, you can think if you have a million classes, then you essentially need to train a million output nodes for every single example. Now it's possible that um, if you're trying to disambiguate between the dog being a Labrador and a poodle, um, that knowing that it's not a toaster is actually quite an easy thing. And so we can be a little bit more efficient there by doing something called candidate sampling, where we train the output nodes for the uh, class that it belongs to, and then we take a sample of the negative classes and only update um, a sample of the output nodes. This is quite a bit more efficient at training time. It doesn't seem to hurt performance very much in a lot of cases. Uh, obviously, at inference time, we still need to evaluate every single output node.